Let me bring in uh, Kathy McKee, who has been waiting, who has uh, accused Cosby of attacking her in a hotel room in 1974. She has filed a defamation lawsuit against Cosby's defense team that is now headed to the U.S. Supreme Court. So, Kathy, thank you so much for being with me. And uh, y how are you feeling right about now, as has been said? Well, um, thank you. I'm very happy to be able to be here today. Um, just listening to this is stirring up some very difficult and deep emotions for me mm. um, because I was a part, I saw the violence in Bill Cosby when he attacked me and um, it's hard, it's very difficult to try and make it go away. Um, it surfaces. I'm, I was doing very well holding it together um, until I began to hear um, these last few words. Um, being attacked in 1974 by Bill Cosby, who was at the time my good friend, I thought, my buddy, someone I worked with, was a horrible thing to happen. It's caused me a lifetime of problems emotionally, um, work issues, being in the industry, the television business. Uh, it's been very difficult on me. And um, I feel a great deal of sorrow for all the women that this has happened to, and not just with Bill Cosby, you know, but everywhere. And um, I'm just struggling to keep going every day. And I'm happy that the judge sentenced Bill Cosby accordingly. And I'm grateful to Andrea for standing strong. I appreciate your being open with your emotions on, on television. I appreciate your essentially, I mean, for a lot of women, it never goes away. And, you know, as, as, as easy as it may be for outsiders looking in to think, OK, he's been sentenced, you know, chapter closed, vindication for survivors like you. It, it's it's sorrow as well. It sounds like. It hurts. It's painful. It's an attack. It's a rape. It's an attack on your body. And it's very frightening. It's very scary. When a man like Bill Cosby, who at the time was a big, strong man, to attack you in a room, it, it terrified me. It scared me. I actually thought he was going to kill me because I really thought that he had to have lost his mind in order to do something like this to me. It, it, it's, it's horrible. And then the fear of being so afraid for 40 something years to tell anybody about it, to say anything, because nobody believes us. Nobody, they think, oh, Bill Cosby, oh, America's dad, you know, a fine man. Uh, oh, come on, how could he do this to you? It's, a, you, it's a, a mess. Do you feel believed now? You know, Brooke, I'll tell you, there are people out there. I've read some of the comments. I've seen the social media. There are still people who believe that it's not possible for Bill Cosby, that somehow we're all lying and making this up. And uh, it, it's, it's a horrible situation. I don't understand why people don't believe women when they say something like this has happened to them because what benefit could it be? How could you gain from it? Um, I don't understand it. I don't know why. And I do think there are a lot of people who still don't believe us. I, well, I really believe that. Well, there are the people and there are those people on social media, but then there's also the law. There is this judge, Kathy, who said out loud, the day has come, the time has come. And I'm just wondering now, um, he's been sentenced to three to five years in state prison again. I know it's like this is the Bill Cosby and my goodness, how uh, the seemingly mighty can fall. Do you feel like justice has been served? Well, in a way, it's a strange, I have a very strange feeling about it. Describe I it. I feel as though 
I feel that justice has been served for Bill Cosby. I suffered for 40 plus years. He's got three to 10 years, I think you just mentioned. Yes. He has no remorse. He shows no remorse whatsoever. He's not sorry at all. He's not sorry, you know, he's not sorry about what he did to anybody. Would that make and it better if he said that? I, th I think it would make it make it better yes I think it would be a lot better if he would address me and the other women that he's done this to and say you know I was nuts I have a disorder um, I, I did you know anything I'm sorry I didn't mean to do this to you it was a mistake uh, I should have been getting treatment which, which I don't accept that either because with Bill Cosby's money and fame and power, he could have gone to another country even and got treatment and got better. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm, it's a very confusing, difficult time. I am glad that Bill Cosby was convicted and I'm grateful that the judge has given him this time. And I say a prayer for all of us women that have been affected by this through Bill Cosby's hands. I'm wondering too, this is my last question, as we've been covering women speaking up and this Me Too movement, Kathy, and you all were, you know, some of the first in this major instance and just your, your, your thoughts on how this movement, since all of you came forward, how this has evolved in this country over time? Well, you know, Brooke, you're absolutely right. Uh, we were, you know, Cosby's uh, case was one of the first. We were one of the earliest. I was one of the first people, I think, to come out with the Bill Cosby thing. And, you know, I really didn't do it for any kind of a any kind of a movement or any kind of a glory or any kind of, I did this, I spoke up because I saw a few other women speak out and just be put down so horribly by a few people uh, that came forward to protect Bill Cosby. And I felt so sorry for the women who had suffered that I just decided that I was gonna speak up for them and help them mm -hmm. and say it happened to me also. Um, I can only pray to God that somehow our world that we live in now can make some changes and some shifts and we can all look and see our mothers, our sisters, our daughters in the faces of some of these victims, of some of these women survivors and straighten it up and just stop it. That's Kathy it. McKee. I don't know what else to say. I'm just yeah. hanging on your words. Kathy McKee, thank you so much for coming on, for sharing your truth, for being so open, and for being so brave. Thank you. Thank you.